So we're going to go out, we're going to go uh, hang around in New York. Normally I would take a sketchbook with me and some pens, but today I'm going to do it digital. I'm going to go rogue. I'm going to go uh, out into the world just armed with this. You can go to any part of the city and you'll see something unusual, someone unusual. Whether they live here, or they're visiting here, or they just woke up, and it's 2015. How are you? Oh yeah, I had one of those. It, it'll go in a week or so. Yeah, yeah. Everything I do is super simple, but if you just do it enough, it looks it looks busy and complex. And it's the same for anything, you know. We see it in nature. You take one little fractal, and it's you know it's just this little thing. Add them together, and you have have complex you know forms. You want to go where the action is, you want to go where all the best people go and you know, New York is one of those hubs. Yeah, I just love being in Manhattan and walking around and seeing crazy stuff. trying to show within my work that like how the work has been made in a way to allow others to like see that and go off and make their own versions or be inspired by that. So a lot of my work is made using very simple materials, very simple techniques and it's easy to deduce by looking at the work like how it's come together. It feels good being here. It feels good to be somewhere different. And I think, um, you know, as an artist, it's good to be an outsider. It's not good to feel too comfortable. It's good to feel alien and, and other. And uh, I think that, that's what grants you like a unique sort of uh, inward view on things. So.